them, need them, and do what you can for them. Lose your father. You hope things will turn out the way that you plan for them. Lose your father. She's growing up so incredibly fast. He seems to think that you live in the past. You can't really cope, but you hope it'll last a bit. Enjoy himself. I wish he would enjoy himself. I'm worried about him. He never talks to anyone. He never sees anybody but us. Well, look at his diary. Apart from going to work, he hasn't been out of the house for months. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. Crashing chords on the piano. That means we're near the end. <laughs> Craze gonna last? You, craze? It's not a craze. I'm enjoying good music, classical music. I've become aware of Rachmaninoff and Shostakovich and Harry Roy. <laughs> Harry Roy? Yes, and his ragamuffins. Now, don't you make fun of Harry Roy and his ragamuffins. Your mother and I were very fond of him. I am talking about classical music. Dad, I wish you'd go back to collecting stamps. Collecting stamps? You were never interested in my stamps when I collected them. I remember you spilled cocoa on my Jubilee stamps. Yes, and you shouted at me. It was wonderful. I shouted at her, and it was... Why was it wonderful? We communicated. Oh, listen, if you two are going to have a row, I'm going out. We're not going to have a row. We're certainly not going to have a row. I'm going to put a record on. Then we are going to have a row. And I'm going out. Wait, wait. <laughs> There's an atmosphere. <laughs> what is amiss? Dad, look at this. Yeah, well, that's my diary. There's nothing in it. What do you mean? There's, it's a wonderful diary. It's full of wonderful information. Now, look at this. June the 3rd, I bet you didn't know. High tide in Rangoon. <laughs> June the 10th, Prince Philip's birthday. Dad, what about social engagements? He doesn't tell me about his social engagements. <laughs> Dad, I mean your social engagements. Uh, look, June. Nothing, 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 nothing. July. Nothing, nothing, Wait, wait nothing, a minute, nothing. Shirley. What's all this nothing, nothing, nothing? Are you leading up to something? <laughs> or is it all nothing? <laughs> Look, Dad. Yeah. I think what Shirley's trying to say... I yes, can is... speak for myself. Yeah, Shirley, Shirley can speak for herself. Let it... You speak for yourself, Shirley, please. Well, what I have to say is that I think that... Yes, yes. Well... Uh, Martin, speak for Shirley. The floor is yours. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> now, yeah. basically, yeah. she wants you to talk to her. Shirley wants me? Well, that shouldn't be very difficult. <coughs> Hello, Shirley. And then she wants you to get out more. Get out more? Yes. Find a hobby that takes you out of the house. A hobby that takes me out? When I was a little lad, I used to do a lot of train spotting. <laughs> would that fill the bill? Train spotting? Well, it would take me out of the house. No. It would mean making you sandwiches. You're quite right. I'll tell you what, I'll make bird watching and buy my own pork pie. <laughs> that wouldn't be any good at all. That's like stamp collecting and listening to records again. It's something you do by yourself. Dad, you don't get out and meet enough people, and you know what's going to happen to you, don't you? You're going to get anorexia nervosa. <laughs> Am I, Martin? <laughs> oh, good. You'll get agoraphobia. <laughs> Well, that even, sounds even worse. What is it? Oh, it's, it's a psychological condition. It's when one is frightened to leave one's house. And one has every good reason. One was knocked down by a skateboard yesterday. Would you like to see one's bruises? Oh, Dad, you're becoming a hermit. You should get out more, meet new people and make new friends. Here, take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Evening classes. Yes, uh, they're great. Shell and I were thinking of doing them, weren't we, Shelley? Oh, oh yes. What do you say, Dad? Well, rug making, brick laying, French cooking. Is there, is there any dry stone walling? <laughs> we always wanted to have a go at dry stone walling. Couldn't you make a weapon and leave it in the sun? <laughs> Martin! <laughs> There's everything else, though, Dad. There's basket weaving. Yeah. Oh, Italian cooking, karate. Yes, she's right, Dad. It's great. Now, come on, what do you say? I think it's a good idea. You two, put your names down. In the meantime, I am going to listen to the Hallelujah Chorus.
Ah, good morning, Shirley. Good morning, Martin. You know, I've been thinking about what we were talking about last night. You are quite right. We don't talk to one another enough. It's wrong. We should talk a lot to one another. Don't you agree, Shirley? Mm. That's good. That's got us talking. Do you agree, Martin? Mm. That's marvellous. I think we've talked enough for one morning. <laughs> now, can I borrow a little bit of the newspaper? Yeah, sure. Doesn't look like it. Ah, well. Uh, oh, I see. There's marvellous competition here. If I win it, I get a Batman uniform. <laughs> And a date with Robin. <laughs> Shirley, mm -hmm. it's going up to nine. Shouldn't you be getting ready to go to school? Yeah, in a minute. Uh, 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 say, Martin, what about lectures? Have you got lectures? Uh, not until about eleven. Really? Oh, well, we can sit here and we can socialise. <laughs> I've just remembered I've got a lecture at nine. Bye, Bye Dad. <laughs> One moment you've got all the time in the world, the next second you're gone. I don't understand it. It's only little me. I understand it. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, I'm so shook up. Oh, please, Mrs. Blacker, now sit down. Well, you're keeping very calm, I must say. Well, I have seen you sit down before. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, have you read the Gazette? No, but I've read the complete packet from cover to cover. <laughs> it's all tucked away at the bottom of page three, as if Windsor Avenue were any old place. It's disgusting. What are we talking about? Well, us. <laughs> Here, Windsor Avenue. Well, you say, well, well, what's happening to us? <clears throat> we're going one way. Up or down? <laughs> Through. Through. And you know what that means? No. Juggernauts. Juggernauts. <laughs> Juggernauts thundering past our gardens. Oh, really, Mrs. Blacker? Milk floats morning, noon, and night. I could do with an extra delivery. I'm very happy. About that. <laughs> there won't be any deliveries at no. all. Oh. We'll be treble yellow. No parking. Traffic will rush through. The price of houses will go up. Go down. Go down. Plummet. Plummet. We can't have any plummeting around here. I knew you could feel that way about yes. it. Yes. And so I'm here on behalf of the Residents Association to ask you to lead our protest group. Me? Oh, the committee carried you unanimously. The committee? Me and Bert. <laughs> now, we'll need sit-ins and demos, posters, oh, well, placards. Wait, 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 sit in and demo. This is all going to take a lot of time. Precisely why I've come to you. You have the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I did have the time, but as from now, I don't have the time. Yeah, here we are, yes. Why not? Evening classes, evening classes. But you won't be going every evening. Oh, every, oh, there, yes, Monday basket weaving, Tuesday rug making. <laughs> Wednesday, French polishing and Italian cooking, bring your own derps. <laughs> I don't know which one for, I'm thirsty. Look, don't go on, I've got to think. Yes? Who am I going to get to lead my protest group? What about the nice lady at number 32? The one who's always looking at me through her window. When you're looking at her through your window. <laughs> but she's always borrowing things. Yes, never mind, you could ask her. Well, I will. Yes. Oh, it'll mean taking her pinking shears back. <laughs> it's got a good cause. Oh, you're right. Yes. Thank yes. you, Mr. Matthews. Thank you very much. My word, that was a near thing. Oh, Mr. Matthews. Yes. I always hankered after one of those wicker baskets. Oh, basket weaving, Mum. You will be my first project. Oh, you are a dear. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, turps. Where's the turps? It's not in the fridge, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> What's that funny smell? What's this funny shape? <laughs> oh, Shirley, sh but, hey, be careful with that, won't you? What is it? Well, it's nothing yet, really, but it's going to be a fruit bowl. A fruit bowl? Yeah, for putting tennis balls in. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. Look, what are these? Uh, well, one is the sauce for my bolognese, and the other is homemade varnish. Oh, I hope you know which is which. Well, of course I know which is which. This is, uh... Well, anyway, we'll find out on Wednesday. <laughs> well, what happens on Wednesday? Oh, on Wednesday, we have French polishing and Italian cooking. Oh, they don't have to simmer all week, do they? No, <laughs> they'd spoil. <laughs> what are you going to do tonight, Dad? Tonight, painting in oil. I thought that was last night. No, that was karate. Ah, karate. Yeah! <laughs> that, that, that is not right. I'll prove it. I found out the hard way. <gasps> Dad, what have you done to that house? 
Well, it could happen to anybody. It won't happen to me again. I've found out. I've discovered the secret. You must keep your eyes open when you go. Pow, wow! Let's change from prom pom. <laughs> Are you taking this too far, Dad? Yes, I mean, I know we said you should get out more. Well, and I have. Yes, and meet new friends. And I have. And find new hobbies. And I will. Week on Tuesday, I'm starting spot welding. <laughs> That's after I finish my art studies, by the way. Have you seen my uh, mural? What mural? <laughs> Come with me. Skyline, but I had trouble with the Empire State Buildings, so I changed my mind and made it Doncaster Racecourse. <laughs> Why Doncaster Racecourse? Well, our lecturer said we could. We had a choice: we could New York Skyline or Doncaster Racecourse. <laughs> my word, when he sees it, he'll be amazed. <laughs> When's he coming to see it? Oh, I can't. I've got to take it to him to be marked. Oh, taking the wall with you, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a special adhesive, you see. All I've got to do is to be very careful how I take it down. <laughs> now, isn't that fortunate? I've taken a decorator's course. <laughs> Good. You see, you see, what I'm really trying to say about Picasso was that his brushwork. Why is there a brush left over? Because Mr. Matthews isn't here. I thought it was quiet. <laughs> I think you'll find Mr. Matthews has arrived. <laughs> I apologize for being. I had a problem getting on the bus. <laughs> I had a problem getting off it again. <laughs> and now you've got a problem closing the door. Yes, I have. Somebody give Mr. Matthews a hand. Yes. Or a foot. I beg your pardon. You're very late, Mr. Matthews. Yes, but I wouldn't like you to blame it all on the bus. I wasn't going to. I'm glad, because it wasn't their fault, really. The reason I was late, you see, I left home late. The phone rang. And that's why you were late? No, I didn't answer it. I was late already. Mr. Matthews. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, why were you late already? Well, I was late because I had to rip off my homework. Rip off? Mr. Matthews, there's no point in doing homework at all if you're going to rush it. <laughs> I didn't rush it. You just told me you ripped it off. No, I said I ripped it off. I did rip it off, but I didn't rush just it. Just put it on the desk. Yes, certainly. Do help. What are you doing? <laughs> but I'm making room for my homework, you say. There you are. <laughs> What's that? Just a moment. <laughs> What is it? Well, you said we should paint the New York skyline or Doncaster Racecourse, and that is... Not the New York skyline. You've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had trouble with the Empire State Building, so I decided I wouldn't paint it. I would paint... That's the Doncaster Racecourse. <laughs> On a very busy day. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, yes. shall we get on with our work? We must get on with our work, yes, of course. We must. Careful what you say to him, he's in a very touchy mood. <laughs> ah, well, it's lovely. Good evening. I say that's very nice. That's very nice. That is that. Uh, is it a sunflower? It's my husband. Is it? <laughs> my word he is a lovely colour. <laughs> is he oriental? Excuse me, please, can I move? Am I standing in your light? Oh, please, may I move? Well, well, why do you want to move? Because I don't like the person I'm sitting next to. Oh, I see. Leave it to me, Eleanor. 
And this lady, she doesn't mind that fellow, she's sitting next All to All right. Her. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes. Is there anybody here who hasn't worked next to Mr. Matthews yet? Anybody? Is there anybody, anybody at all? I don't think so. We're all friends. I've sat with all of them. <laughs> That's what I came here for. My daughter said... Yes, God... Mr. Matthews, you told us last week. Yes, so I did, yes. Ah, now, what is the subject? What is the subject? Is this lady hard of hearing? I beg your pardon. I said, is this lady hard of hearing? Well, perhaps she's engrossed in her work. Oh, I see. Excuse me. <gasps> what have you done? I don't know what I've done till I see it. Did you... I? Did I do that? Yes. You ruined it. That emerald green it street right down. That, that green street. Did I do that? Yes. Oh, I do apologize. I should think so. You've ruined it. Oh, I wouldn't say I've ruined it. Not exactly, to be fair. I haven't done it any good. Now, it's just an idea. <laughs> just an idea. Why don't you make that green streak the stalk of the flower? I'm not painting a flower. I'm painting Buckingham Palace. <laughs> oh, well, you're quite right. You know, the green streak is no good to... Look, would it help? If you were to rub it off, I'd do it. I'd rather you do it because I wouldn't like to make a mess of it like you have. <laughs> Can this lady move? Nobody is moving anywhere. Oh. It's nearly packing up time. All right. I said nearly, Mr. Matthews. Uh, before we pack up, the principal has asked me to remind you all about the end of term exhibition. As you know, what are you doing, Mr. Matthews? I'm picking out my best paintings. You see. Have you seen my Grecian urn? <laughs> That's a Grecian urn. <laughs> oh, I just remember. I say, ask me. What's a Greek urn? Two pound a week, if he's lucky. <laughs> well, I've got a number of paintings, you see, that... I... One sample of your work will be more than enough, Mr. Oh, only one? Oh, really? Well, I've got my other work. I've got my raffia bath mat and I've got my fruit bowl. I'm sure I could do something with those. So am I. <laughs> I've got an idea. Why don't you... Oh, bring them along on Saturday. It's the exhibition on Saturday. You haven't given us a lot of time, have you? Would you mind if I leave early tonight? Not at all, Mr. Matthews. I want to go to, along to the pottery room. I'd like another stab at Beethoven's ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the Doncaster racecourse with you. you. You wouldn't like to mark it before I go. Ah. <laughs> it, it's a... Uh, that out of ten? Twenty. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people would be discouraged. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about this, Mr. Beethoven. A bit of sellotape might be able to make it stick on. Yeah. Now, let's see if I've got everything. Yeah. Beethoven's head. Bedside lamp. Two-tone raffia bath mat. Room. Oh, yes. Uh, Shirley. Shirley, I want another box. Shout. You're getting too excited. Of course I'm excited. In a couple of hours' time, they're going to judge judge my exhibit softly, so I need another box. Another box? What yeah. for? Well, I need this box, don't I, for my exhibit, so I need another one, will you? Now, don't misunderstand me. You see, no, I'm not given to boasting. But you never know, I might win one or two or three cups, and I, I don't want to come down the avenue with them in my arms. It'll look like showing off. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did take the bedside table lamp I made for you. I hope you, you'll have it back later. There's no hurry. It's not as if it works. No, it doesn't. Well, it needs a bulb. Mm. And a switch and wires. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not being just for switches and wires, am I? The point is, who else would have thought of making a bedside lamp out of a rolling pin and two paper doilies? <laughs> it shows imagination and originality. Yes, you've got those all right. They might give me another cup, you know. Another cup? Mm, over and above the one I'm going to get if I get it. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got everything, including my speech. Speech? <laughs> oh, excuse me, it's not exactly a speech. It's more of a word of thanks. I mean, I can't scoop all the prizes and just walk out, can I? <laughs> but it seemed like grasping. So you can speak? Yeah, you can be the first to hear it. And the last. Pardon? I say it fast. I thought you said, and the last. <laughs> you didn't, did you? No. Because if I say it fast, no one will hear it. Get on with it. All right. right. My lords, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, you see, it says Monty used to say to the desert rats, you must be prepared for every contingency. Monty? Who's Monty? <laughs> Who's Monty? Ah. Hello, Lamaine. 
a little beret, a little cane, a caravan on Lunaburg Heath. The, re the reunion every year. Oh, where? With the desert rats and Vera Lynn. <laughs> you say who's Vera Lynn? You're... Let me tell you, Shirley. In 1939, this country went to war with Germany. Dad. Uh, oh, yes, and it finished in 1945. <laughs> You're going to wish me luck? Bucketfuls. Make a chocolate cake. We'll celebrate. Bye okay. for now. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear. Fine help you were. Ah, oh, well, we both agreed it would be better coming from you. Do you tell him? How could I? He was so convinced he's going to sweep the board. How could I tell him he hasn't got a chance? Oh, well, we could both be wrong. He might just win something. You did see everything he's entering. Yes. I'll take that back about him winning something. <laughs> I'll make him a chocolate cake anyway. Hmm. Poor old Dad. <laughs> Piece of cake, Dad. I've had one piece of cake. <laughs> cup of tea? I've had one cup of tea. How about a scotch? I've had a scotch. Well, have another. I'm having another. <laughs> oh, well, come on, Dad. Everybody knows these silly old judges don't know what they're talking about. No, they certainly don't. I mean, look at this painting. Yeah. It's super. It's so full of movement. It's a still life. <laughs> Even cleverer. Not many people can get movement in a still life. What's this ear? What's what where? What's this ear? What ear? This ear. Oh, that's Beethoven's ear. <laughs> they objected to me sticking it on with sellotape. Sellotape? Yes, I stuck it on with sellotape too, so it wouldn't fall off, and as you see, it has fallen off. Oh, well, tell him it's very gone. <laughs> Not. Dad? Yeah? Do you want to talk about your raffia bath mat? <laughs> you had such high hopes for that raffia bath mat. I don't know what came over me. There was a loose end and I couldn't resist. You pulled it? Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's only little me. You left the back door open. It's foolish, you know. Anyone could walk in. They did. <laughs> oh, jumble. Jumble. <laughs> I didn't know you were collecting jumble. I'd have brought you some. Oh, uh, we've got enough. Thank you very much. What's the matter with your father? No, he's just a bit down, that's all. Ah, oh, well, he needs taking out of himself, and I'm the one to do it. About my protest group. Are you still looking for someone? No, the dad. dad. Yeah, yes, you're quite right, Martin. I'm sorry, Mrs. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Blacker. I can't help you. But I mean, your evening classes are over. You're on holiday. When do you go back? Go oh, back? I'm not going back. <laughs> he took on too much. Well, far too much. I was the same as the lad who's always a failing of mine. Do you know? I joined the Air Scouts, the Sea Scouts, and the Boys Brigade. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> they were all on the same night. <laughs> Find one thing and stick to it. That's what I say. Well, I'll be off. Oh, that'll be nice when it's finished. <laughs> That woman talked a lot of sense. She said, find one thing and stick to it. And that's what I should do. OK, fine. What's it going to be? I think he's best at raffia. I don't know. Look at old Beethoven. I'd rather not, if you don't mind. <laughs> OK, so what is your great talent, then? Well, well, what I was doing before you came along with the idea I should have a hobby and find new friends. You were very good and you tried to help me and I'm very grateful. But from now on, I'll stick to what I was doing. Oh, no, not Tchaikovsky. Not Rachmaninoff. No, something really modern. Harry Roy and his ragamuffins. <laughs> Who's Your Father is back next week, but at the earlier time of five o'clock. What you can for them. Who's your father? You hope things will turn out the way that you plan for them. Who's your father? She's growing up so incredible.
incredibly fast He seems to think that you live in the past You can't really cope but you hope it'll last a bit enjoy himself. I wish he would enjoy himself. I'm worried about him. He never talks to anyone. He never sees anybody but us. Well, look at his diary. Apart from going to work, he hasn't been out of the house for months. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. Crashing chords on the piano, that means we're near the end. <laughs> craze gonna last? You, craze? This is not a craze. I'm enjoying good music, classical music. I've become aware of Rachmaninoff and Shostakovich and Harry Roy. <laughs> Harry Roy? Yes, and his ragamuffins. Now, don't you make fun of Harry Roy and his ragamuffins. Your mother and I were very fond of him. I am talking about classical music. Dad, I wish you'd go back to collecting stamps. Collecting stamps? You were never interested in my stamps when I collected them. I remember you spilled cocoa on my Jubilee stamps. Yes, and you shouted at me. It was wonderful. I shouted at her, and it was... Why was it wonderful? We communicated. Oh, listen, if you two are going to have a row, I'm going out. We're not going to have a row. We're certainly not going to have a row. I'm going to put a record on. Then we are going to have a row. And I'm going out. Wait, wait. <laughs> There's an atmosphere. What is amiss? Dad, look at this. Yeah, well, that's my diary. There's nothing in it. What do you mean? There's, it's a wonderful diary. It's full of wonderful information. Now, look at this. June the 3rd, I bet you didn't know. High tide in Rangoon. 